My people, my people, my people, what is going on? It's the wealthy guy here. I want to share a story with you that I think about when I'm ready to give up. So pay attention because in this story are pictures of me with hair and braces. About 12 years ago, I went to China to teach English. I was a part of this program with about 20 other Americans and the program coordinator organized this trip, this bike trip to Mulan Mountain. And Mulan Mountain was about 50 miles away from the city that I lived in. Out of the 20 people, only five people signed up for the trip and I was one of those five people. But the night before the trip, I got scared. I started to think, oh my God, this is going to be really, really difficult. I can't do it. So I backed out of the trip and the program coordinator called me and said, you can't back out of the trip. We've already paid money for your bike, for, you know, where we're going to stay. You know, you have to go on the trip. So reluctantly, I agreed to go on the trip. So the next morning we started off, everybody's all happy. We jump on our bikes. We start riding, we singing songs, and then things got real. It was over a hundred degrees, 90% humidity. It was raining. There was mud everywhere. It was just disgusting. I just started complaining and complaining. I kept asking how much further, how much further? And they would only say only a few kilometers further. And then at one point I just jumped off the bike. I threw it on the floor and I was like, forget this. This is, this is too much. I cannot do this anymore. And just at that moment when I was like ready to give up, a truck pulls up and the truck offers us a ride into the village that we were going to, of course, for money though. So we all piled into this truck with our bikes in the back of the truck. There were like pigs. It was, it was really gross, but we didn't care. All we cared about was making it to the village. When we got to the village, we were so happy. Everybody was hugging. We made it, you know, then we stepped out of the truck. And when we stepped out of the truck, the village was flooded. We were knee deep, literally in water. And at that point I was just like, oh, could this get any worse? And then the program coordinator says, okay, now it's time to hike up the mountain. And I was just like, what? Are you kidding me right now? After riding in the rain, in the heat, all that long way, knee deep in water. Now you wanted us to hike up the mountain. When we got to the top of the mountain, I saw the most beautiful sight that I had ever seen in my life. It was a lake at the top of the mountain. And in that moment, I just felt so relieved and I just felt like this was all worth it. There are a few lessons in this story. One, you should be scared of your dreams. If you're not scared of your dreams, they are not big enough. Number two, you have to be willing to do what others are not willing to do to find success. Only five people out of 20 people committed to going on that trip. And only those five people saw that beautiful lake on top of the mountain. Number three, just when you think you can't go anymore, someone will come in and see your efforts and help you. And although we had to pay that driver to take us to the village, it was well worth it. Number four, life is a journey with many ups and downs. And as long as you stay the course, you will find the success that you seek. If this story resonated with you, as always, like, comment, share with someone who you think needs to hear it. If you need a little bit of help on your journey, come and see me. It's The Wealthy Guy, and I'll see you soon.